didn't have cold water. What do we got today, man? What's going on? Uh, nothing. I just came back from Coachella, you know. How was that, bro? It was kind of lame. Not going to lie, dude. Bunch of people. Oh. I thought it was like a low-key thing, honestly. Dusty and dirty. Yeah. Like, it was like an indie festival. Yeah, I thought it was like an indie thing, you know? Um, <laughs> like, a, like a show at the Whiskey or something, you know? Like we got like 30 people at most and stuff. But to my surprise, I show up and there's like 100,000 people. Usually it's like that sometimes. Is know? it though? Yeah. I, I can't believe it. But uh, and they had like some people performing that I never heard of. And sh- dude, insane. Yeah, I didn't like the lineup this year. That's why I didn't go. It wasn't because I couldn't get a ticket or couldn't get the time <laughs> or off. Or you couldn't get the time off It was anything. mainly because I just didn't like the lineup. Or else I would have went for sure. Dude. I know. Like, how crazy is it that, like, you know, you have, like, Bad Bunny. Who else did they have? Calvin Harris. Uh, Blackpink. Blackpink. Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean headline. Who else? Was Becky headline? G. Was yeah, there. yeah. When back Ooh. in the day, Becky G. She was there? Yeah, she was there. Damn. And when back in the day, they had like Rage Against the Machine, <laughs> Metallica, they had, Red Hot uh, Chili Peppers. Knocked Loose. Knocked Loose, knocked yeah. That's loose what it was. Link 182 set Link was fucking. How'd you like that? Oh, it was good. I, it was I good. saw the whole thing. It was sick. Yeah. yeah. That's the only Same. set I actually saw the whole, the whole, the whole thing. thing. Nobody likes no, I saw Bad Bunnies. It was good. You saw? Yeah. yeah I didn't good. see the whole thing. Good. I mean, he br- like. He brought out Kylie Jenner. It was pretty sick. No, he didn't. But okay. Kendall Jenner was there. <laughs> yeah, okay. She didn't even come I don't out neither. Care. But Post Malone came out Post and then Malone, he fucked yeah. up with the guitar. Well, not him. The, they had audio technical, technic, technicality. So he's like trying to play a song or whatever, and then it kept like cutting in and out, like almost like when Vanessa does her audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. But you were there too. Yeah, <laughs> 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 was working the event was working <laughs> and fucked up their <laughs> fucked up their audio. <laughs> and he was oh, he was man. playing the song and it was like sounding good and then it started cutting in and out, in and out, in and out. So then it it seemed like he doesn't he didn't know what he was doing. I think that was kind of fucked up. Yeah. Like it made it seem like people were saying that he didn't know what he was doing on the guitar. Because mm-hmm. you know how like they like the shit on Post Malone. He smells. They say that. Well, so they say, yeah. He doesn't smell. He doesn't smell, right? You've met him, right? He doesn't. Smell. Nice guy, right? He's a nice guy. Yeah. Fucking Seems like a nice reputable guy. guy. Repu- reputable. Drinks Bud Light. He still drinks. Bud. I don't know. It's, 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 it's he loves, noticing he some loves changes on him, I guess. I you mean, know? Uh, he's painting his nails too, so I mean, it's kind of just like whatever. Slowly, he, slowly. I don't think he really cares about that, you know? He's going to drink Bud Light because he likes the taste. Because he likes the taste. Just you like know? I'll drink Red Bull too. Because I like the taste. I mean, come on, bro. He smokes Reds, so. Drink. Malboro Reds, right? You know? Not even the lights, dude. Reds, non filtered. So. Classy man. Classy man. Um, you know, but yeah, the money didn't change him. I will say that. No, it did. It did change him. I mean, he's able to buy cool shit, but yeah, still a nice. A guy. lot of cool shit. You know, I wish I was him. G wagon, G wagon. Is that why you got your face tatted? No, I wanted to look um, exactly like. But him. yeah, he was. Uh, it, it was cool. Big influence on that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um. Yeah, fucking. What happened with this whole debacle? Can you pull it up? What What's the Frank Ocean? Oh, yeah. so the story on him is that he showed up fifty seven minutes late. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 off, off the bat, fifty seven minutes late yeah, to the T. Fifty seven minutes. What the fuck? And then, uh, like there, were, like the, his performance was weird due to the fact that he wasn't visible. Mm-hmm. Like, he had people surrounding him, some shit like that, and then there was very low lighting on the stage. It's a Frank Ocean thing, thing though. Yeah, it's yeah. a Frank Ocean thing, for sure. Like and then um, and then he the set was cut short because he showed up late because of, there was a curfew for the main stage or something like that. They went a, over it was a, it was Sunday. the curfew either way on yeah, the but, three but days. It, yeah, but it was a Sunday. Mm-hmm. So I guess on Sundays they have a different mm-hmm. time slots and shit, and... Yeah, I mean, he showed up late. Is what it is. You know, it, I mean, he hasn't performed in, in what? six years. Six yeah. years. Six years. Yeah, yeah, life. Yeah, six years. So that's why was he have stage fright or some shit? That why they fucking surrounded him and shit? I don't know. It's it was just fucking. It's just a uh, you know. I, I like Frank Ocean, but never been a fan of his music. I know, you know it's like but maybe one or two. When he played Run Force Run or whatever, when he's it, on the piano with the legs underneath him. On the VMA stage, I believe it was. I don't remember I don't that. Yeah. yeah, that was just when I was like, this guy's never really little, followed him. Don't different. know too much about him. I, I, yeah, I like Odd. him, but I don't understand the hype. Like that Odd big of like how, like how big. No, yeah, yeah, he's, I remember that. Yeah, come on, bro. That's why. That's why. He's yeah, a good he artist. He's an amazing Ocean. singer, but like this whole 
hype around him. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I think it's just like a cool thing to to follow to, him, to, follow to like him. Like. That's why you like him because he's cool. No, I only uh, I only you like a couple of songs. It's not really like that. what. From that, was it the orange album? Or he's whatever? no fucking Earl Sweatshirt, Sweatshirt, but he's all right. Earl Sweatshirt. Does Sweatshirt. people even know Earl Sweatshirt? I don't. I don't know. No, I don't. Know. I, don't under, I don't understand. But yeah, <laughs> Coachella was fun. What about the outfits, bro? That's a big thing. The outfits. Oh, like the girls with the, the, with the pterodactyls out. I'm not I'm just <laughs> saying, like you would. What kind of outfit did you have in mind? What was your fucking soul inspiration? For the weekend? Inspiration. So obviously, I had like a like a feathered earring <laughs> off the bat, dangled. You know, you have to do it, right? Yeah. So you fucking drew inspiration basically from Billy from Stranger Things, then, yeah. Billy from Stranger Things. Oh, the guy, the guy that turned into yeah. the demon in the second season, right? Yeah. Did you turn into the demon at any point? Nah, nah. I was very tamed and calm. Kept to myself, you know, most <laughs> of the time. Stayed in the back. Nice. You know? He didn't know that was so much people, so. Yeah, so I stayed. He was I didn't know. I didn't away. know. I don't know how it works, you know? And then the guy from fucking the, the, um, Despicable Me, the. The villain, he showed up too. Oh, Peso Pluma. Yeah, yeah. He showed up too. With uh, Becky G. Yeah. Becky G. Well. Yeah. And then Becky G sang Shower. I was like, yeah. Singing in the shower? Yeah. That song <laughs> Remember is, that song? It's annoying. <laughs> I don't remember. It was that. everywhere. Like in, I used to like Becky G better when she had the gap. <laughs> <laughs> and it should, uh, she got rid of the gap? They oh, she did it. have she a did. gap. Yeah. They yeah. fixed it. It came back. Got and that was money, the whole thing. It's like, it oh, again. I'm not going to fix it because this is who I am. Nah, she tried. And she came it. back, bro. I know. No, she <laughs> tried to fix it and it yeah. came back and then she, she fixed it again. Yeah. yeah, bro. I followed the gaps. And- <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say, why you you were a Becky G fan? No, yeah. I'm a gap fan. <laughs> I'm a gap fan. <laughs> that shit's sick, See, It's like, like Michael Strahan, man. He, he fucking, oh, he went yeah. with it, you know, and he kept it. Yeah, well, some people just, it's just, it's it's cool watching the evolution of how it works. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. You could do it, but why did you make this whole thing about I'm going to keep it because I want to show girls that you could do it. Because that's know. what people say when yeah, when when you can't do anything about work. it. I know. When you can't do anything about it. <laughs> Until you have the money to do it. And, and then you do it. <laughs> for sure. Because she made like, you know, singing in the shower money. Mm-hmm. But then now she's making yeah. like, you know, MLS, you know, <laughs> soccer star money. <laughs> Which she makes is, more money than him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. off the bat, saying, you know. I'm just saying the stock winner. All right, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, talking about like sure. the fool who comes to the fucking school to fucking perform uh-huh. when you have a fucking drug fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there. You know what I'm saying? Like uh-huh. K-pop or whatever the fuck or Pop 101 or the beat. The <laughs> yeah, beat. The beat. Right, we're talking about 101.3. Like the, the, the beat. Yeah. Now she no longer to exists. Kiss FM. Yeah. She got Kiss <laughs> FM money yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now we got Radio Heart. Yeah. Now we're gonna see what's up. I Heart Radio or whatever. All these little indie fools gonna fucking. Make her stock rise up and shit. Yeah, exactly. So I followed the gap from them days going on. Great story. Good you comeback. Know, comes mm-hmm. back. The minute she went into Spanish, she <laughs> just Big. rose up. Blew up. You know, it that's, happens like that. That's bro. the move now. You got to do um, Bad Bunny uh, Spanish music, and then you'll you'll skyrocket. It's all good. What about the the story on the soccer player though? <laughs> when that's getting divorced. I didn't hear about that. So he plays for PSG, right? He's the guy from, from Morocco. He's the one that did the, 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 well, the goal. Yeah, he's from um, Spain. No? He's originally from Spain, but his parents are from Morocco. He was the one he, that did that penalty that eliminated Spain from the World Cup. Mm-hmm. So he was married and got married to a baddie, like straight baddie, right? He's mm-hmm. like 24 or something like that. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. young. Yeah, and she's older. She's like in her 30s, I think. Mm-hmm. Got married in this nest. She filed for a divorce and and claimed for half of his stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Off the bat. But then comes to find out when they investigate, this motherfucker doesn't own anything. Mm. Anything. Smart Everything's man. on his mother's name. So, like, whenever he would buy a car or his house or anything, it was it's on her name, and then she was the one releasing the money to, like, to purchase it. So then what, what happens? So she gets nothing. Does he so, get money from her now? Uh I, don't, I mean, I'm probably uh, sure that he's not going to. I don't gonna, think he, yeah. he should go for that. But <laughs> technically, technically, yeah, technically <laughs> he can, right? Is that'd be not, so petty, is it though. Not tasteful or <laughs> yeah. what, right? Yeah, that'd yeah. be so petty. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Wait, I, I saw yeah. that news everywhere. So now the, like, the memes are like, oh, all the soccer players taking notes <laughs> on how to like keep their assets and shit. 
So that's, that's great stuff, you know. But finally, is, finally a win for the boys. Uh, is it really? A win? It's one to like negative four thousand. But yeah, yeah, for sure, hundred percent. It's you all know? good. We're, we're all we're all in seventeen hundred. Yeah, it just makes her look bad too, in a way. Yeah, like I guess, but like, then, but that's the thing. That's what they say. Like you know, like people. I guess now, like most women talk shit on, I guess on guys that that they say are really close to their mothers or are mm-hmm. mom mama's mama boys, boys. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's like the that's like the job of the mother, right? The mom kind of like watches your back on like you know certain shit, where the dad teaches you how to behave a certain way, right? Mm. So that's why like it's, it's good to have both, both. Mm. Even though you're a grown adult, you know, you still you still need someone to watch your back. Still do from time to time, you know. You got these girls out here trying to, <laughs> trying to take take everything you're worth. I'm locked up on but yeah, I guess talking about uh, Coachella, thirteen best things see, saw at Coachella 2023. Billie Eilish was there. Billie Eilish was there. Supposedly, hiding in the corner or something <laughs> like that. See, this is from the LA Times, so I don't know. Like, oh, supposedly they had bad Wi-Fi as well, so that was, that was another like another bad thing. So obviously Friday, Bad Bunny. You know, I mean, fan of him or not, I think it's still a de- like a pretty big deal because he's like what the first Latin mm-hmm. artist to close out or be a headliner. You know, nice. It's all right, Blink One Eighty Two. Fucking, you know, classic. They had the, yeah, they had the original lineup back. You know, not original, but I guess the the core lineup. I guess you can say. Who else? Breeders don't know them fools. Ethel Kane don't know her. Boy Genius Genius. don't know them. Black Pink. Black Pink. You know, know Boy Genius. They're popular. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, but I believe you. (laughs) Fouché. Fucking believe. Who the fuck is Fouché? You look like you're dressed like fucking Boy (laughs) Genius right now. Honestly, bro, is that what you pull your inspiration from? Oh my god. Let's see. Let's see. Hold up. (laughs) Boy Genius. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. got them same shoes on right yeah, 100%. now. 100%. You cannot bro. see the shoes, oh but you're god. definitely wearing them fucking Doc bro. Martin loafers with the little dangles in the oh front. Oh, my God. 100%. Boy genius. I know you're they're good. Know they're genius. good artists. Yeah. Cool. Oh, um, Blackpink also made history because of the first yeah, the, uh, K-pop. K-pop. Kali Uchis. Uh, I guess, oh, her um, set was pretty good, too. Uh, what's his name came out? Tyler the Creator. Uh, Tyler the Creator. Omar Apollo. As he yeah. should. Bjork. He's fucking dope. Tyler, and the creator, is Frank Ocean, the best one. He's the best one out of the lineup. Out of the lineup, yeah. I mean, he was just a guest, but whatever, you know. He stole the show. He stole the show. All right, back to our normal programming. Florida man accused oh. of throwing chicken wings at wife during lovers' quarrel. <laughs> Do you remember when the, the pizza? pizza? <laughs> yeah, Pizza Gate. Yeah. yeah. So this is another one. This is another Chicken one. Chicken wings and again, get a little dicey, bro. Yeah, you know? yeah. Depending on what sauce you got. You got the fucking the ghost pepper habanero sauce, dude. <laughs> you throw that's one fucking in the eye. That's fucking felonious assault right there, dog. That's you got to be careful with assault that Assault with shit. a deadly weapon, for mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You get some of that sauce in your fucking eye? Yep. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Like, even like when that shit gets to, like in between your nail and, you know, that little soft spot uh-huh. right there. <laughs> you can go fucking blind. Honestly. You really can. Fuck. <laughs> So a uh, Florida man allegedly threw chicken wings at his wife as the couple quarreled over his suspected lover, according to the police report. So the man was cheating. Evidence of the wing attack could still be seen when officers arrived at the home and saw the wife with sauce under her chin, neck area, <laughs> as well as on the thin shoulder strap of her shirt, according to the police report. Domestic disturbance in Wildwood begins Sunday night when Robert Francis Odette, 39, and his wife began to argue about him having an apparent lover. According to the police report, the victim advised during the argument, the defendant began asking for some money so he could go to a local gambling establishment and meet with the lover. Yep. An officer wrote in the report, <laughs> at some point during the argument, the defendant grabbed and threw a takeout box of wings. Some of the wings hit the woman on the right shoulder under the chin. Uh, that's not that. Yeah, cool. oh, that's, yeah, the guy? that's the guy. Oh, now we got a picture of the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he looks. It's not even that. Okay, so. Here's my thing on this one. Here's what I have to say. Like, I mean, it would be cooler if he, like, was fucking, like, getting the wings and, like, whack. Like, chucking, you <laughs> he know? Was chucking but them. But if he got the box and he threw and it, it. Yeah. That's, that's just not... him, you know, overdoing it, you know? 
The explosive argument carried when Odette at one point blocking his wife from reaching their baby in another room and then forcing her to hide in the closet of the bedroom. When the suspect left the bedroom, the wife quickly locked the bedroom door, causing Odette to bang on the door when he tried to get back in, the report says. When the victim didn't open the door, the defendant is heard yelling, I'm about to beat your fucking ass and began violently banging on the door, the police report says. So was he like drunk or something? Odette was charged with simple assault, a misdemeanor, and bounded out of Summer County Detention Center Monday afternoon. Those are the wings? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. No. Waste of a perfectly basket of fucking good wings. <laughs> yeah, if they're if they're bad wings, and yeah, fuck it, throw them. Don't throw them at your wife. Obviously, he's you know? a terrible person, honestly. But, but he denied threatening to hit her. Mm. Didn't deny the wing throwing. <laughs> it's kind of hard to deny yeah. that, right? Yeah, when you got sauce all over you, you did that. You, now, you've would done, you you've done did pick that. up the wings and eat them? No, 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 uh, no, no, no. That's no. how hungry I was. Honestly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If, and do I have a hardwood floor? Do I have a dog? It's a mm-hmm. lot of factors in, you know what I'm saying, of what's going Why, on. Why, if you have a dog, you just leave it there? No, no it's going to be covered with hair. hair yeah. yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, the dog can't eat chicken wings. Oh, well, I'd clean it up, bro, but oh. I'm just saying... We're you saying wouldn't it eat would, it. Would, yeah. would, the, would we eat the said wing if it hits the floor? Mm-hmm. No mm-hmm. dog? There's a reason, though, of him throwing the wings. Probably weren't that good. I don't care how mad you get me if I'm thinking about throwing wings and if they're fucking good wings, they're phenomenal wings. I'm not throwing them. Would you throw wings? If, if they're the castle wings, on castle them? wings, <laughs> not throwing them. I seen a guy eat the wings. We're we're, we're on we're right <laughs> no. by the stage, my no. dude. Right by the stage, no, dog. Bro. Eating wings. I seen it with my eyes. Had a little fucking leg, dog. Just bone. I see him do this exactly like this. Look like. <laughs> I looked at him like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> seen him do it twice. He looks at him like, nah. and just tossed it. <laughs> What's the problem, though? It's not your establishment. I bro. know, but then it's like, like animal, you know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, people that, do weird things when they drink. Bro. That shit was that shit was bad because that was the day we were there at seven or six in the afternoon, and we stayed till closing time. We saw a shift change. Of dancers, bro. <laughs> we saw the first wave of girls, and then we saw them leave, and then we saw the second wave of girls that showed up at ten. That's disrespectful. Yeah, very, very, very. disrespectful on our behalf, hundred percent. Uh Britney Spears dances in tiny <laughs> snakeskin bikini <laughs> bottoms and a yellow crop top, but her enthusiastic moves leaves fans concerned. So there's shit going on with Britney Spears. They think that she's kind of going crazy again because she's doing like these um. Social media posts where it's just her like in really small, really awkwardly small bikinis, you know what I mean? And <laughs> dancing and saying stupid shit. And people are like, mm, what's going what's on? What's wrong with it? Though? So Britney Spears put on another dancing show in her living room on Tuesday as she showed off her toned stomach in a tiny bikini bottom and a crop top. She looked as useful as ever in vibrant yellow, rough, ruffled off the shoulder top while her tiny pair of snakeskin bikini bottoms left little to the imagination. Eh. That's not that's not the face of a sane woman, right? <laughs> that's a bad shot, bro. There's like many times you could clip me and I look like that too, bro. I mean, 90% of the time. Yeah. You. That's what I'm saying. Like it ain't it ain't that fucking it's just a bad it's just a millisecond in time of a dance. That's okay, then use another one. Let me see. <laughs> bro, that's that's like two seconds after that, bro. Uh, that's just that's what I mean. Bro, You're keeping that same what face. The tabloids though. do, bro. You're keeping they... that same no, face though. Man. There's some, obviously something. What's up with the boots though? Yeah, some <laughs> sweet boots, honestly. I'd rather wear those than Vanessa's shoes, honestly. Oh my god, yeah. always hating. But she's obviously fucking singing the Lady Gaga song. She lives for the applause, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't watch the video. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't. She ended the video by slapping her behind and giving the camera the middle finger. However, some fans were left concerned by the singer's moves, which is the latest in the series of dancing posts. Taking to Twitter, one said, okay, Britney Spears genuinely needs help. While another one added, I'm genuinely concerned about Britney Spears. However, others saw the fun side of the video saying, I just love Britney Spears dancing vids. (laughs) I'm I'm pretty sure. That's her dancing. Look, look, look. That's her dancing. Look, look, look. What's wrong with it? I don't I don't know, bro. She's making that same face the whole time. No. Look. They froze the fucking face, bro. That shit look. don't look. Look. She looks fine, bro. 
She looks okay. She's just <laughs> dancing, bro. Who's that? That's her sister. But that's right? not Britney Spears dancing. Style. That's not Britney Spears. <laughs> that's, hey, yo, she's like getting older, that bro. She's not a. How old but you, is Britney? But still, Bring up the 41. Fucking, bro, 41 years old? You but can't be still. doing dances. You know what I'm but saying? But she has a lot of these videos. Yeah, that's what has, we're saying. She shouldn't she's be dancing. She's talking like that. to the camera and like with an accent and then doing all these other things. Madonna talks with a fucking accent. Yeah, yeah she did. Remember weird. she was British for a while? Yeah. <laughs> When the fuck did who goes through a British face? You can't even do that shit no more. <laughs> a British face. You can't go through a British face. Man. You know what I'm saying? Mad- I mean, Madonna's also weird. Have you seen her lately? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she has a garbage bag for her butt now. <laughs> it's pretty con- bag? Yeah, it's pretty concerning. What do you mean? Like she got like a BBL, but like not in like the good side of TJ. <laughs> all that money and she just damn. dude sometimes she's people, like how old is she like she's 60? like 60 something like sometimes people don't know how to act bro i don't know how to act but it's also funny because like everybody was concerned about britney because of the whole yeah like, her being controlled by the yeah. father and blah, then blah, blah. now she's out of that control and everybody's just still, still worried. concerned like, yeah. maybe maybe <laughs> maybe we know. shouldn't have <laughs> taken her out of that Maybe she should still have someone watching her, but yeah. just like letting her, con- like letting her waste her money. I guess I don't know. I don't know. She ain't wasting it on yes. clothes. Definitely, <laughs> got a fucking ensemble of bikinis and shit. A uh, large mall brand sex gas station in Compton. Let's okay. see. Let's see if I can load this fucking video. So why is this happening? What's the deal with this whole ransacking? Like. Is I truly think it's like for social media, just so you could yeah like post and be like I was there. there or I'm a badass and this and this and that. Unruly crowd looting a gas station after a street takeover. About, yeah, about a hundred people taking over that gas station convenience store, breaking that gr- uh, glass door, stealing everything they could. Yeah, KCAL News reporter Jake Reiner is there now, live in Compton with the wild video, Jake. Oh, yeah, it's wild video, Leslie and Ross, but also kind of a wild scene. If you take a look behind me, you can see just the aftermath of the street takeover, the tire marks. You can see some tire debris right here at the corner, almost kind of wiping out the crosswalk at each of the points of this intersection. And then look how close we are to the Arco gas station. If you uh, whip around here, you can see where the arco is and that is where all of those people went inside and we have that crazy video for you take a look about a hundred people from the sideshow were there busting their way through the convenience store at the arco and according to the la county sheriff's department this all happened around 2 a.m people were grabbing items left and right anything they could grab just an absolute <laughs> wild scene and one resident told me he hears street takeovers takeovers all the time but I spoke to one employee who told me that he's seen the street takeovers, but the looting is definitely a out of the ordinary thing that happened here uh, overnight. And again, uh, back live, we're we're still working to find out more about what happened and who was involved. According to the sheriff's department, no arrests have been made, but also uh, the good news: no injuries reported. Reporting live in Compton, I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL News. But yeah, that shit was crazy because they fucking busted open the door. Because you know how it's like they're closed after a certain time? So they busted open the door and went in. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. I just don't Especially understand. Especially that egg refu trying to go for them condoms and shit. <laughs> we all know that food don't hate them. <sighs> you know? Like, it's so dumb, dude. Like, this is just going to fuck it up for me because I work late at night and I'm not going to be able to go get no chips and a drink. <laughs> yeah. You stupid all, fucking all, people. Oh yeah. all he wants is a Mineragua and some chips. All, all I want is a Mineragua and some chips while I'm trying to do my civic duty and fucking pay taxes. And you fucking menaces have to go fucking not only fuck the street up that I got to pay for to get fucking done again, mm-hmm. but honestly, you got to go into this store and fuck it up so that I can't get a drink. Yeah. You know? It is what it is, you know? No, like, I don't even understand. Like, so but they, they look young. Yeah, of course. They look, you know, You're not going to have old guys <laughs> going in there and fucking <laughs> stealing shit, you know? But I guess the problem, they say that it's not like the people that live in that area that are doing that shit. It's people coming from other various areas that come to enjoy these shi- side shows and go out and destroy, you know, the places. 
It's just disrespectful. Honestly. Is it though? On all 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 aspects of it, you know. Yeah. It's just you know whatever. Do what you like, but do it. I don't even know how you would do that. Controlled. Controlled. Go Safely. Forming Don't the drip. steal. Don't rob shit. <laughs> don't hit people with your cars. I don't know. You know. There's there's that. What can we do? How are you gonna stop it? You can't stop it. Oh, well. But yeah, but if you guys want to see us at the sideshow, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be at the one in uh, I will not be there. <laughs> you can uh, follow follow us and, uh, you know. I'm not going to go to a sideshow my whole entire life. I won't. Never? Unless I get fucking caught there on a fucking accidental fucking. You accidentally. Dude, I would hate when that would happen. Because like, <laughs> they would do that shit by my mom's house all the time. And you forget Sunday afternoon. Mm-hmm. You make the wrong turn on fucking Main Street and you're caught behind all those fucking cars, you know, and then you got to go all, try to find your way out, go around or whatever. And that's if you don't have cars behind you and shit. It gets a little ridiculous sometimes. Oh, I bet. I bet. It's like 1 a.m. trying to go to sleep and yeah. all of a sudden. I remember once, yeah, I was like hitting up McDonald's, dude. And mm. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the intersection there over here doing donuts. I'm like, Dude, I'm in my the <laughs> Nissan, I'm uh-huh. in the Sentra and shit. I'm, I'm just trying to go around. <laughs> 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 trying to get some Mac Nuggets, man. <laughs> they thought I was going to hit them fucking donuts and shit. I'm like, nah, I'm going through. Going through. <laughs> yeah. Yo, let me just cut C real quick. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh. It's what it is. But yeah, I guess um, pretty much it. What we got? What you got going on, my dude? Mmm. Chicano Park. Chicano Park still? You yeah. still haven't gone? When is it again? It's this weekend. This, this weekend. weekend. I got, okay, so uh, let's be out. I heard it's lame, dog. Uh, I got throwback I night at Disneyland. Let's see what that's all about. Throwback night? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's where they bring all the 90s shit back and 80s and 70s and all the like vintage shit back. And fucking um, Nazi uh, Walt Disney <laughs> comes out? He wasn't a Nazi. They say he's a Nazi, dude. No. I don't know. It's a conspiracy theory. So is it though? Do you dress up? No. No. He does. He dresses up. He yeah. Do you? He's got his little goofy hat. I, I do <laughs> not dress goofy up. Hat with the little flappy ears. I had one when I was like seven. I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. No, I don't dress up. Just go chill. Have a churro. Or two. Or three or four. It's. it's- you going with your girl? Or? Yeah. I imagine he goes by himself. <laughs> no, 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 I'm going by no, myself. But, but I mean, I'm going like with, alone, bro. With some kids or just you and your girl? What the fuck? Yeah, it's come on. Problem, dude, who goes bro? to Disneyland with children? <laughs> all right, I'm a grown man who likes to go to Disneyland, all right? Are you a Disney adult? I don't fucking... I'm, I'm going to start a Disney vlog page. You guys, <laughs> is that something you guys are interested in seeing? And then maybe that's what I got to put out. Do it, dog. For the yeah. masses. There's a lot of Disney fans. So. There's a lot of Disney fans. There is. Uh, no. Mine would like have cursing. Yeah. <laughs> I would never get invited to any of the Disney influencer events because nope. I would have the most followers, yeah. but like I would just have the most cursing in my video. Nah. And then you'll have you know, me yeah. saying something about Nazi stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know, we for and sure will get like. Definitely you know, not. I'm pretty sure like, they We don't love like, they what don't like the shit. numbers are doing and what you do to our spot, but we don't like We don't guys. condone what you say. <laughs> So we're gonna have to ask you to see like, this. Bring back the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> when were they chasing the lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That was uh, the best part, dude. It was a uh, golden era, you know, back in the day where you know they had monkeys and stuff, and pretty sick neon monkeys. They did look it up. I don't. I don't remember, dude. I honestly don't remember shit about that place except for you, that. You don't remember anything. No, like I remember it's a small world. That's it. That's it. That's it, dude. Have you been lately? You look like no. you've been. No, I've only been two times in my life. Yeah, when I was a kid, and then um, grad night. When I for high school. You, you were barely. You didn't graduate, so you. <laughs> 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 so you didn't go to grad night. I'm no, I did they didn't go to grad night and I didn't graduate. I went at least ten times as a child. <laughs> but the last time I went when I was ten years old. That was it. I said I've had enough. You Yeah, Alice got lucky because he was at that time he was the only kid. I was the only kid, so, so I was able to Oh, and then like I was the only 
I guess, like, boy as well, right, for a really long time. So what did that mean? So that means, like, all my uncles and cousins, they would go, and they'd like to fucking spend time at our house, so then they're going to Disneyland, so they'll be like, well, take this food too, I guess, you know? How many kinda, times did you go? Then? Kinda, you went a couple I went, times? like, ten times, dude. Oh, you went, like, ten times. Yeah, yeah. From from what I remember, which is probably, like, age And you don't six, remember anything? You went ten times? You don't 10. remember a goddamn thing? Yeah, because I remember they would uh, they would pick me up. Well, people would show up at the house, and they're like, oh, they're going to Disneyland. And then they're like, oh, do you want to go? And I guess back then it wasn't, like, that expensive. It was expensive, but not, like, crazy expensive, right? Okay. We had family members that were more well-off than us. Mm-hmm. They, they, they wouldn't mind spending an extra, I don't know, 50 bucks on me. Mm-hmm. And I really wouldn't eat shit. I'd probably, like... A burger or something, like an extra ten bucks. You know, what I mean, sixty dollars. You take this child with you, probably because I would entertain their children too. You know what I mean? <laughs> take his little bitch ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably, yeah, yeah. Take his little bitch ass. All right, go with your cousin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and I wouldn't cause trouble. I just keep to myself, just fucking, you know, talk shit to myself and shit. Back That's then, cool. I wasn't as vocal as I was now. You know. Yeah. So. You are now. So yeah, I would, I would I went a bunch of times and then that was I stopped going after ten years old. I said uh, people were there, yeah, they would come by and they'll still say like, oh, do you want to go? Like they took her a couple times. I'm like, nah, I'm no, cool. only like, once. They only took me once. Once or twice, no? Once. I think twice. No, it was just once. once. Want, I remember because. Do you want to go again? No, it doesn't interest me. Maybe. No. I'll probably go when they reveal them new lightsabers and shit, the ones that retract. I'll I think maybe during like December shit. for the Christmas, just to. Just for, just the to look. Christmas? Yeah. for the Christmas, yeah. I mean, people. for Christmas, it looks nice. We we'll pay for you to go, but you got to do everything we tell you you have to do. How about oh. that? And oh. we got to film it. We got to do like a fucking Disney yeah. fucking video and yeah. shit. We'll take you. We'll pay for you to go, but you got to do everything we tell you to do. Like you gotta wear the ears. You gotta wear whatever ears we select. Mm-hmm. It'd be bro. It'd be like your day. Yeah, you wouldn't have to pay for anything. That's true. That'd be like, you know how many people would want that opportunity? You know how many kids in Somalia would want that opportunity? <laughs> and we're giving it to you just for maybe a fucking one hour it bit. It won't even yeah. look bad because everybody's going to think I'm a child anyways. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got to lose the fucking nose ring and wear a long sleeve Wear a long sleeve, long yeah. Sleeve. And Probably uh, don't show off that howdy tattoo, you know? And maybe not take those shoes. <laughs> yeah, definitely okay. not Maybe we'll shoes. get you some Converse or something. Converse. Oh. Some nice walkers. Converse trying to Disney, suffer, I know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> trying to make her suffer, dude. That sounds like fucking torture, bro. <laughs> fucking Converse. Some new Converse in Disneyland. Not even broken out. in. No, no, right? new. Spanking Fresh. new, huh? Spanking new, bro. Out the box. What's the little fucking tag on this? <laughs> the low tops or the high tops? No, it don't matter. Whatever don't matter? I think low tops kind of hurt sometimes. Uh, yeah. But you're going to get swamped. They, they, foot. They, no they socks, too. No, yeah, no, no socks. socks. <laughs> no sock in it all day. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. That would be we'll a good see. episode, we'll man. We'll see. We'll see if we'll do that again. Maybe, hey, if somebody comments, we should we take Nessa to Disneyland? Like as a like sort of like a make a wish kind of thing. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I wasn't want to go there, but maybe like a um, makeup wish. Make as up far as wish. like you didn't yeah, get makeup. it as a child, so yeah, now yeah, we yeah. give it to her as a whatever she is now. As an autistic adult, oh my God. she's got to be what? How old are you? Like seventeen, nineteen, twenty? No, you gotta. You twenty four or something like that. I don't know. But do you? Is that something you would be interested in doing? Like, if that's what you guys want. What do you? What the <laughs> fuck does that? What? what look want. at. See, not even thankful <laughs> for the brown man and the tattooed <laughs> brother to fucking give her this opportunity, bro. Opportunity of a lifetime. That's an opportunity of a fucking lifetime. Yeah. Like I, your brother said, I didn't want to fucking go there, but there's people. Who literally, that's their last dying wish is to go to Disneyland, bro. Yeah. And we're giving you that. Just you look just healthy. Just out of the, the us being stupid and funny, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we're just, we're just you know. But you just say, I guess, yeah. if that's what you want. You want to go to Six Flags then? Where yeah, do you I want can. Where do you want to go? Six Flags. Six Flags is ass. I can't do Six Flags. Why can't you do Six Flags? I don't like rides. Why? You not go on roller coasters. You don't go on roller coasters. I've been... Mm-hmm. But I just don't like it. Okay. I've been forced <laughs> to go. Okay. What about Knott's Berry Farm? I haven't been. Never? Nope. That's ass too. Yeah, yeah. It's not that great. They're all not great. I like Universal. I mean, the most I've been to is Universal. I want to go to Universal so I can go to yeah. the Nintendo World. I'd oh, go to that yeah. For sure. Yeah. But even though, like, I think you got to make, like, reservations and shit like that, people are all, like, upset. 
just make a reservation. <laughs> you have to make a reservation. I was like on TikTok, some guy was like, man, fuck Mario. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was all mad at me, dude. He was all mad. He's like, yeah, you know, they, they, they jipped me for $200. I'm trying to go to the Mario World and I can't. You got to make reservations on the app. And then I go on the app and it says there's no reservations. And he's like, fuck Mario. Fuck Universal. <laughs> Fuck Princess Peach. Like, he's fucking going off, dude. I was like, damn, bro. I was like, that's, that's not Mario's fault, fool. Just you give it prep. like a fucking year and a half, and it's just going to be like the fucking goddamn Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Or like Star oh. Wars Land. Or, shit, or right? Star Wars It's Land. just a hype you know, right now. You know what yeah. happens at Star Wars Land? Mm-hmm. Not a goddamn thing, because nobody's ever over there. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's old you, now. Right? You got the hardcore. Nah, not even that. It's, it's the newest fucking section. But it's the fucking hardcore ass dudes who wear those cloaks when they go to like, it's 90 degrees out. They're wearing a goddamn Obi Wan Kenobi fucking cloak, like you know what I'm saying? It's just I don't know, man. But yeah, I guess we'll we'll look into <laughs> see where we take this. Doing Vanessa's Make a Wish, I guess. <laughs> no, make up, wish. make up make wish, up. make <laughs> up wish. We'll start our new nonprofit, <laughs> make up wish, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you didn't have it before. Shit would be sick, bro. Maybe we could fucking. Do like a sick ass contest and and bring somebody else with us too. I'd be yeah, fucking mm-hmm. sick. Uh, you know, you then you could tell. Maybe you have some input on what you know. You maybe yeah. make Nessa do. I don't know. Maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves. Sounds expensive, but <laughs> oh, that's expensive. All right, that'd be like fucking like a grant. <laughs> know, our our budget's a little, you know, <laughs> a little tied up for the <laughs> for, it really for, is. for the moment. But hey, I I guess. <laughs> Full send, man. Full send, buddy. We drank one hundred dollar water on this bitch, bro. <laughs> we did. Sure did. Well, but yeah, okay. I guess we'll end it there. Yeah. See what's up. Still See you guys on the episode. next one. Adios. <laughs>